Have you ever bought something on a hunch and then second-guessed yourself afterwards? I have bought a 150-passenger lifeboat. Here's how that happened. A few months back I invited my friend to quote, check on a boat that I'm definitely not gonna buy. And here I am. I've been fascinated by solar boats for quite a while now. I've considered converting my electric dinghy into solar, but the surface area is just not enough. I've been looking into cheap catamarans or small houseboats that could potentially be converted to solar, but nothing was quite right in terms of surface area, usability, space, and of course price. Until I've stood on the top deck of Heart of Gold, that is. Heart of Gold is a lifeboat and tender boat that is made for 150 persons in lifeboat configuration and 120 people in tender configuration for cruise ships. It is a catamaran hull with a wave-piercing center hull, which is very rare for lifeboats. But this design actually provides much more stability and also makes for a wider boat, meaning more surface area for solar. The reason that after six years of searching I could finally start fulfilling my dream of a solar boat is a combustion engine, or two actually. I found out that the resale value of these two Yanmar engines would actually be pretty much what the seller is asking for the whole boat. This wasn't what you would typically call a perfect moment to buy a boat. We actually just moved apartments, which cost a lot of money, and we were just about to get a baby. But sometimes you just can't wait for the perfect moment. So we filled some bags with hundreds of liters of water for ballast, because otherwise the propeller would be in the air without all these passengers, and got ready for our five and a half hour journey across the Elbe River. Thanks to the great prep work, by the guys at the Hatika shipyard where I bought the boat from, the whole ride went pretty smoothly. Here's me at the helm, by the way. I'm Oliver, 26 years old, and I work in Hamburg at a long-range drone company. I've done a small amount of offshore sailing with my dad before, and as I've mentioned, I own an electric dinghy. But apart from that, having an own boat, especially such a big one, is a very big leap for me. In case you haven't figured, about every single part of a boat needs a lot of work to get back in shape. So this is a project for a few years. All the paint, gel coat on the inside and on the outside needs to be completely removed. Everything needs to be sanded down. Structural damage needs to be repaired. Old engines need to be taken out and sold. New engines need to be installed, including battery packs. There will be need for freshwater systems. The hydraulic steering is okay, it works, it's usable, but it's far from ideal right now. The pump is either broken or undersized, so that will need to be replaced as one of the first things. On the upside, the ride was very smooth, especially for a lifeboat. The catamaran hull really does its magic here. Even hitting waves from larger vessels was barely noticeable at all. A few exciting hours, some not so high bridges, and also a very scary lock in the end later. We safely arrived at the Harburg Harbor where we got her docked just in time for the baby to arrive, which postponed the crane appointment. But after all, we got it done. We got her out of the water and here she is. If you don't want to miss out on upcoming videos like the one about the solar electric drive system I'm working on right now, make sure to subscribe and also check out the Instagram channel where I post daily updates. I'll link that in the description below. Thanks a lot and see you next time.